This is my entry for Jamie Oliver's Search for a Food Tube Star with Uncle Ben's competition. My name is Colleen and this is my kitchen. I've struggled with my weight my entire life. After trying every diet in the book without any success, I came to the realization that diets don't work. I started my journey in January 2010 at a size 26W weighing just over 300 pounds. By July 2011, I had lost over 120 pounds and reached my goal of a size 12, no W. And I have kept the weight off ever since. What's my secret? Eating healthy and moving more. Now I'm here to show you how you can make food that is healthy and delicious and lose weight just like I have. Because if I can do it, you can too. And I have one pound of local wild caught salmon. You want to make sure it's wild caught so you're not getting any additives or, or coloring into, in your salmon. Grilling salmon on a cedar plank is probably about the easiest way to cook it because there's not a lot you have to do to it while it's cooking. You don't have to flip it, you just leave it on the, uh, the plank and let it cook for about 30 minutes on low with the lid down. The salmon has about 15 minutes left on it, so we're going to get our rice started here. I have two cups of water that I salted, brought to a boil, and I'm just pouring one cup of the Uncle Ben's instant brown rice into the pot. We want to go ahead and get our veggies started on the grill and what I do is I just put them on the grill with the salmon, let them finish out cooking together. And so I've cut my onion and my squash and zucchini into about half inch pieces. Uh, nice thick slabs of the onion, those are going to grill up really fantastic. And I have some olive oil in it that I've put in a pressurized spray can here that I'm just going to mist it both sides with. And I've got all my veggies cooking away. I'm just going to flip them. It takes maybe two minutes on each side for each of these to cook through, become nice and grilled. Look at those nice grill marks on there. Everything has cooked up absolutely beautifully, so now let's go ahead and wrap this up. I'm going to start with this ear of corn, and I do that because I like to cut it right in the serving bowl so that none of those little kernels jump out. Now we're going to toss in that oregano. I chopped that up earlier. It's this great aromatic golden oregano. I love having it in my herb garden because it has this great chartreuse color that makes it just absolutely brilliant in the yard. And then we have that rice that we cooked up. Once it's cooked, it's about roughly two cups of rice. Last but not least, I have that two ounces, that's about half a cup of crumbled goat cheese. And what I love about the goat cheese is it's got this great mild creamy flavor and it adds just this creamy texture to this dish. And we're gonna take a piece of this salmon over the top. Then I have these lovely cherry tomatoes. Don't forget that I don't think that I forgot about these. I did have them up. I'm going to take some, just scatter them over the top. That's it. I'm going to go sit down, enjoy my meal. I hope you'll give this a try. Let me know what you think. Until next time, cheers.